Welcome to those of you who are watching on CBS News Baltimore and on WJZ TV. I'm Vic Carter, turning now to another story that WJZ is following. It's been nearly two weeks since Baltimore Magazine hosted its Best of Baltimore party at the American Visionary Art Museum in Federal Hill. And tonight, we've learned dozens of people are now recovering after they say they became sick from a potential food poisoning outbreak at the event. We've been looking into the story for you all evening long. WJC is live. Kelsey Kushner spoke with some people who were at that party. And Kelsey, they even told you what they think made them sick. Yeah, Vic. Well, every person that I spoke with tonight had a very similar story, and it all started with either the chicken pate or the shrimp. Guests tell me that two days after that party, they fell violently ill. Now, two weeks later, they're still trying to recover. One woman even tells me tonight that she actually had to go to the ER because her symptoms were so bad. It was a fun night. It really was. And then and then it wasn't. Kristen Dorn is still trying to recover from the best of Baltimore party nearly two weeks after she says she fell ill. For five days, I did not eat any solid straight. I was on a water only diet. After ruling out COVID, Dorn says she missed out on a week of work, stuck at home with a fever of about 104. It was a similar story for Michael DeLora. The sweats, chills, and just fevers. Uh, you know, under blankets, you know, when it's like 70 degrees in the house. A night to celebrate some of Baltimore's best quickly turned into a morning where dozens of guests felt their worst. I'm still having GI issues. Christine Saxon says she was sent to the ER for emergency tests after experiencing severe pain, high fever, and an inability to keep anything in her system. I am running to the bathroom and not feeling good. I'm still dehydrated. Anything that I eat, no matter what, is still going through my system. The city health department says they are working with the state health department to investigate the potential food poisoning outbreak and are still working to figure out the source. Got 20 plus people um, basically with the same same problems. The Baltimore Magazine tells WJZ they provided the health department with the list of vendors who attended and said they notified everyone who bought tickets of the outbreak. But frustrations continue to climb. It's two weeks out. I don't understand why this is taking this long. Somebody should take accountability whether, you know, it's compensation, a refund. Now, this investigation is ongoing. The city health department has not been able to track down a source of illness just yet, but they did send out a survey to everybody who was in attendance at that party so they could maybe try to track that down. Now, something to note, our very own Denise Koch was at that party, both her and her husband. However, neither one of them were impacted by this potential outbreak. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJZ.